Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this step, ball, and kettlebell workout that is a total body workout. You can use a step, stability ball, and kettlebell, or a single weight. Let's get started with a warm up. Just start to march in place. We need to make sure this body gets warmed up before we do all these exercises. And let's move side to side. Just step it out. Move those arms out in front of you. And you wanna lengthen those arms so you're getting a good extension. Move those legs side to side. You're doing great, keep it going. Bring the arm across. Let's warm up those shoulders a little bit. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, right? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. All right, a few more of these. Nice, okay, the very first exercise, we're just gonna step up and down from the side of the step. Just simply step up and down. Let's just get used to it, just up and down. If you're not using a step, just step side to side. Good job. The Lord directs the steps of the godly, and He delights in every single detail of their lives. All right, keep going. We're definitely strengthening this lower body keeping that core engaged, stepping up and down. Just simply stepping up and down on a platform increases the heart rate just a little bit, and you're gonna notice that. Keep it going. Step up and down, real good alignment through your spine and through your torso. One more. All right, let's walk around to the other side. Exact same thing on this side, just step up and down. Or again, if you're just using your floor, just step side to side engaging those leg muscles. You know, in our hearts, we have our own plans, right? We plan out our course. Sometimes we do a five-year plan, 10-year plan, nothing wrong with that, but we've got to make sure that the Lord is establishing those plans for us, right? All right, so as I'm stepping up, I'm feeling this in this leg a lot, and I'm feeling a balance challenge through the core, Keep it moving, those shoulders staying down, breathing all the way through this. Exhale as you step it up, inhale as you lower down. All right, you're doing fantastic. Just do the best that you can do today. And just take everything at your level and your own pace. One more, nice. Let's go ahead and let's pick up the kettlebell or weight, you can use a single weight. And we're going over into a deadlift. So position your feet out, inhale lower, exhale, bring those elbows up. So hinging forward through your hip flexors. Good, keep it going. You know our plans succeed through good, wise counsel, right? The word says don't go to war without wise advice. First of all, the knowledge and wisdom of the Lord as you pray. And then someone in your life that has wisdom from the Lord, maybe someone that's walked there, um, gone before you, maybe someone that's a little bit older than you that can help you, right? And help guide you. And definitely pray for you and with you. All right, one more of these. Now we're gonna incorporate the ball. So go ahead and sit on the ball. And what we're gonna do is walk out and do some basic ab curls. Use the bell, just hold on to it or your weight. Go back and curl. So the inhale is when you go back. Exhale is when you come up and you curl. Pull in the ribs on this and pull in that belly, right? Start children off on the way that they should go. And the word says when they are older, they will not turn from it. We have seven children <laughs> and we have 14 grandchildren and we started off all the children in the ways of the Lord, we did. And we're doing the same with the grandchildren. And I pray for each one of them daily and, and ask that God would have his way with them 
So we pray for our family members, right? One more. Okay, let's put the step up. And what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna step up and down and press. So simply step up and press. All right, now I'm gonna add a knee lift to this. Why not, right? Adding that knee lift. Taste and see that the Lord is good. All the joys of those who take refuge in Him. The Lord is so good. He's been so good to us and He continues to be good to us. All right, do you feel that challenge in your shoulders and in that leg? What about your balance? Notice how you have to really use that core in this one. Keep that spine straight. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes looking up. All right, one more of these. Last one, let's go to the other side. Let's switch out, bring the bell over the shoulder and step up and down. Let's just start just like this. Let's go ahead and press, reach up and then back down. Good. Okay, let's add that knee lift. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. I love that verse. I rely upon that verse. Keep going. We're gonna finish this strong. Come on, you can do this. Just go at your level. If you need to slow it down, just slow it down. Breathe. Rest in the Lord. And also rest in His strength, knowing that He's with us today as we're exercising. And He's in every detail of our lives. All right, we're almost there. And again, you may notice an increase in your heart rate in this one, stepping up and down. One more. Awesome. Okay, so coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shape by Faith. We're gonna use the bell in this exercise. Step out into a squat, and what we're gonna do is swing it from side to side. Remember to sit down in those glutes, press back with your hip flexors, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, right? God is always working on your behalf. He always is working on your behalf. He knows the desires of your heart, right? Ask Him to line up the desires of your heart with His desires, okay? So I did that years and years ago, and I continue to ask the Lord to line up my desires, to change them, to tweak them, if they don't line up with the desires that God has for my life. Okay, one more. All right, now keep that swing in mind. We're gonna step over the top and swing the bell. Let's just practice without the swing at first. Just step over the top, just like that. All right, keep going, or without a step, you're just gonna do a two-step, right? You ready to practice that swing? Swing over. That's not so bad, isn't it? All right, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail us, right? They are new every single morning. If you wanna add that little step hop, you can do that, or just simply step over just back and forth. I kinda of like that hop once in a while, but that's totally up to you. One more time, back and forth. Very nice. Okay, the next one, Hold the bell at the handles or hold a weight. You're gonna hinge forward, bring it up, squat, and then press. All right, so we're working through the hips and the glutes and the legs. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, right? Add to your learning and let the discerning get guidance. And where do we get that? Through the Word of God through God as we pray, and those other people that are wise, that are walking with the Lord, that have a lot of fruit in their life as they come alongside of you and help you out, right? All right, this is a double clean and press. It's a total body exercise, one more. 
Very nice. Now, let's incorporate the ball again. Go ahead and get it out. Sit on top, walk out. So you're gonna go back and then you're gonna rotate to one side. Come up and then rotate. Just test it out or just go back and up, okay? So we're really working the obliques on this one. The muscles that make it the waist. We're using nice control. Bringing the belly button in. We fix our eyes on not what is seen, right? But on what is unseen, right? Since what is seen is temporary, it's just temporary. But what is unseen is eternal. It's forever, right? All right, again, working the core and working the obliques. Let's do that one more on each side. Feeling that in the core, then walk back. Okay, let's put the ball aside. And this step is called a box step. Let's just review it together. You're gonna step up, straddle the step, up and back. Do it again, up and straddle. I think you've got it. So we're gonna press front as we step up. Every single time, press front. Good, so this one's challenging for the core and your balance, all right? It's also challenging for the mind. <laughs> it's a great pattern to do. Be on guard and stand firm in the faith. Be courageous, that's the word of God. Be on guard, be alert. Stand firm in your faith. All right, pressing that bell out. A few more of these. Use those leg muscles. Last one. Nice. Okay, this next one is called a clean. So what you're gonna do is go into a deadlift and then come up and let that bell rotate back around. Opposite hand on the hip. So lower down and then come on up. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you, yes, I pray that, with power through his spirit in your inner being. I pray that over you. Pray that over myself and over my family. God's power and strength be with you in the name of Jesus. All right, hinging forward, staying back in your heels, and being real aware of your alignment and posture all the way through this one. Make sure your spine's feeling okay. If you wanna bend those knees more, go ahead and do that. One more. All right, it's time to um, do this on the opposite side. So lower down, belly in, and then rotate up. And just keep moving through this one. I love this exercise for the lower body and the core and hips and that upper body. You know, God's word is a lamp for our feet. It really is, it truly is. His word is a light for our path. We need to remind ourselves of that. If you're feeling a little lost today, maybe you need to just open up the word and let it speak to you and give you direction. Maybe you just need to cry out to God. Say, Lord, I need some direction here. I don't know what to do. I don't know with this decision how to make it. All right, and he will help you. Let's do that one more time. You're doing so good. Great job. So coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies and hearts on Shaped by Faith. We're going to step up and down with a side leg, taking the bell or weight in one hand. What you're going to do is swing it, okay? So come up, swing it, biceps, and then that side leg. Or you could tap it if you wanted to instead of that. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one, those who delight in Him, right? So God will establish your steps. He's gonna give you direction. He's gonna show you or how to make that decision. And sometimes he just says, wait. Okay, waiting isn't a bad thing. Sometimes we just need to wait on the Lord until he says, okay, now, now's the time. 
two more of these. One more. All right, let's go to the other side. Same thing on this side, just switch out your arms. So step up and you're gonna swing that bell or your weight, working on biceps and that side leg. If any of you lacks wisdom, okay? And that's me a lot of times. <laughs> you should ask God who gives generously to those without finding fault. And you know what? That wisdom will be given to you. God doesn't say, hey, you should have already known that, or I've already told you that 10 times. He doesn't do that to us. He wants us to go to Him, right? He wants us to go to Him for wisdom, and He generously just gives it out. All right, keep going. Feeling this in that thigh and in your biceps. One more time. Very nice. Now, we're gonna use one weight or a kettlebell, and we're gonna work on our triceps. So set your legs up pretty far apart, belly in, hinge forward like you're going into a deadlift, swing the weight, and then bring it up. Bring it up high. All right, those ribs, pull them in. God, guide me in your truth. Oh Lord, teach me. For you are my God and my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Isn't that beautiful? God, guide me in your truth. God, help me understand which way to go. My hope is in you all day long. Now on this one, it's real important that you keep that core tight. Your navel to your spine, right? Let's do that one more time. All right, great job. Incorporating the ball next. Go ahead and sit on that ball and then roll on out. So what we're gonna do on this one is bring the arms way over the head and then come up and crunch, okay? Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, right? And with the full assurance, that assurance that our faith brings us. Extend through that torso, feel that stretch as you pull that weight in front of you. Keep going and breathing. All right, those ribs, I keep saying that, but keep pulling them in and keep pulling that belly in, working through that upper body and your core. We're gonna work on triceps next. This one we're working on lats and shoulders and the core. Let's do three more of these. And again, back and extend one more. Nice, okay, this next one, what we're gonna do is triceps. So, place your head on the ball. Bring that weight back and extend up, just like that. Stay up in a bridge position. Just reach that ball or that bell Whatever you have in your hands, just reach it up and keep extending. You know, the Father's love that He has for us is just overwhelming. I mean, it really is when you think about it, how much God loves you, how much God loves all of us. It's just extravagant love. It's just over the top. It's just totally amazing, right? All right, let's do four more. Remember to exhale at the top and one more of these and bring that weight down and then walk back. Okay, put the ball up for now. We're gonna go back to over the top. So weight or a bell. So step over the top and swing. And remember you could do that little step hop if you want it to, or just step back and forth, or two step on your floor. For God so loved the world, He so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Believing in Jesus Christ will change you. It'll change you from the inside out. It's the best transformation 
that you'll ever go through. So today, let's ask God to renew us. Father God, renew us in our heart. Help us, Father, to have strong faith. Last one. This is a kettlebell swing. We're gonna alternate the arms. So swing through one arm. At the top, grab it with the other and swing through. So there's a hesitation at the top. All right, before you swing it, God has saved us and he has called us to live a holy life. That's what his word says. He's called us to live a holy life and he helps us do that. He shows us how to do that. He engages with us every part of our life. Feel that nice extension through your torso and through your spine. One more each arm. Last one. All right, good job. Coming up next, more inspiration on Shaped by Faith. On this exercise, we're gonna go over the top. Let's just practice that back and forth. Now we're gonna add that shoulder press, but we're going to alternate. Why not, right? Alternate arms, just over the top and press. Truly, truly, my soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him, right? Truly, truly, my soul finds rest in God alone. Doesn't yours? I mean, there's something about that quiet strength and peace that just fills our hearts as we maintain our focus on Christ and we go to him for everything. Last one. All right, this next one is a reverse lunge and a bicep curl. So what we're gonna do is step back and then just swing that weight to the front for biceps. Very good, I know you're doing this well. So be mindful in how you step back. Make sure those knees and toes are straight ahead. For it is by believing in your heart that you were made right with God. And it is by openly declaring that your faith has saved you, right? So we openly declare that Jesus is Lord. We thank him for coming into our heart and for transforming us, renewing our mindset. I mean, it's a mindset change for sure. And then our heart transforms. All right, do you notice this in your legs? I know you do, in your biceps. Last one. All right, let's switch out. Opposite leg and then opposite arm. Exact same exercise. Swing that weight. Now notice how you're breathing. Your heart rate's probably elevated just a little bit through the movement of the swinging and then moving that one leg. The Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. He came for us to save us. You know, and once we're saved and we're maturing up daily, go on out there and uh, help others find Jesus as well. You know that he's waiting for them. So just share your story with them. Just tell them what God has done for you. I mean, how amazing is that? You know that you know that God is real. One more. All right, the next one, let's incorporate the ball. So we're gonna roll out on the ball. So be mindful that the core stays super tight. You're gonna roll out and you're gonna use a bell or a weight. Bring it up and rotate. All right, bring it up and rotate. You don't have to use a weight. You could just bring those arms up and that would be fine. Rotate over, working the obliques. Good job. All right, Jesus replied, what is impossible for people is not impossible with God because everything is possible with God. And we don't wanna forget that. All right, just rotating to one side, 
working through that waist, breathing. One more, give your spine a little rest. Now we're gonna go to the other side, exact same thing, okay? All right, bring your arms up. Now the word says that though you have not seen him, you believe in him. And that is by your faith. That's faith right there. Believing without seeing, trusting God, right? Leaning into him, not leaning on our own understanding, but leaning into God every single day. Keep rotating. You're doing great. You just go at your level and your pace. Let's do that a few more times. And one more. Nice job. Rest that spine and walk on back. All right, I'm gonna put the ball up for this next one. We're working on the triceps. So grab your weight or your bell and you're gonna hinge forward through your hips and swing the weight through and bring it up over the head. All right, this is on my top 10 list of favorite exercises, just so you would know, right? So it's a tricep swing. All right, it's a total body exercise. I love how it tones the arms up, helps to find them. Enter through the narrow gate. That's the word of the Lord. For wide is a gate and broad is a road that leads to destruction. You know, sin leads us to destruction. The narrow path is challenging. It's like the hardest total body challenge you will have. But I'm telling you what, it's so worthwhile. God will help you every step of the way. You're not on your own, right? All right, let's do that a few more times. You're doing so good. All right, one more. Nice. I hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I did. Thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and breathed His Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you, keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your spirit, mind, and body. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.